Well, now we kick off our week with more fun Halloween events for you and your family. Joining me this morning for our Everyday Spooky Season segment, we have Amber Severson from Hiawatha's Parks and Recreation Department. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. First, before we talk about the events, tell us a little bit about what the Parks and Rec Department does in Hiawatha. Yeah, so the Hiawatha Parks and Rec Department plans um, programs and events and um, provides amenities for Hiawatha citizens as mm -hmm. well as people all over the in corridor. The area? Yeah. Come visit your parks. Absolutely. So let's start with the trunk or treat. Yeah. When is it and what's it's it's a interesting it's a different it trunk is, or treat event. Is. Tell us about so it. So we have the strictly teal trunk or treat and um, this event actually doesn't have any candy or food in it mm -hmm. at all. It is a teal event so it's um, a non non candy event. Oh, okay. And what was the idea behind that? Yeah. So um, one of my children actually have epilepsy and are on the ketogenic diet, mm -hmm. um, and so they can't have any sweets or anything. And I wondered what are we gonna do at Halloween time? Right. Um, so we made the strictly teal trunk or treat, where all of these um, trunks can come together and hand out non-food items for children with special diets and allergens and people who just prefer, prefer the the, yeah. the trinkets over treats. And we get a lot of treats this time of year if you're going to other trunk or treats, so this is a kind of a fun alternative. Absolutely. What, what kind of, can you give an example of a trinket? Oh gosh, there's fidget spinners and spider rings and all sorts of really fun things oh, for kids cool. to come get, like squish balls and I think even um, one of the trunks hands out two dollar bills so oh. yeah <laughs> that's really cool do you need people to host trunks still absolutely we would love um, we would love more trunks if anybody wanted to come through um, just you know give us a call or, or mm -hmm. shoot us an email and that would all be on the city of Hiawatha's website absolutely. and Facebook page yeah and then you have something fun on the 27th yeah the fall farmers market yeah so the fall festival at the farmers market that's when all of the vendors are gonna be handing out those candies okay. and whatnot um, and then there's also a costume contest a performance by prestige dance studio there's um, golly a uh, 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 petting zoo oh, and yes. all sorts of fun I saw things those pictures. Yes. that's so fun <laughs> will there be vendors there yes yes um, all of your fall harvests and crafts and and all sorts of great things so bring the family where that located? That'll be in Guthridge Park. Both events will actually be in Guthridge Park okay. Friday and Sunday. Perfect. And then you have something, the cookie decorating class. Oh my gosh. I'm yes. so excited And for you that. know what? She's going to come this week on the show no. and so we'll talk about it here but you'll also meet Kristen Sweet Creations this week. Yes. on Everyday Iowa. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about it. Oh my gosh, so you're gonna come, you're gonna learn all the basics of how to make your sugar cookies, and then you're also going to learn how to decorate them in the coolest little Halloween um, little treats, and it'll be the greatest thing for your Halloween parties. Yes, the Halloween parties, it's so fun, I love that. Yeah. You've got so much coming up, so where can people get more information? Absolutely, follow us on Facebook, Hiawatha Parks and Recreation, um, or visit our website. Yes, Trunk or Treat, the fall festival market, the cookie decorating class. Yeah, follow them. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, guys. happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>